Hi everyone, so today I'm going to be doing a very quick review on the Bare Essentials Magic Wand Brushless Mascara. Now this mascara actually isn't new, I believe it's been out for a couple of years, but I'd never heard of it before until I went into a Bare Essentials, or Bare Minerals, they're the same thing, it confuses me, um, shop the other day, and the makeup artist that was working there um, mentioned it, and I was like, a brushless mascara, are you serious? And your first impression, I think anyone's first thought when you mention a brushless mascara, is that it would clump your lashes together, so I was a little bit sceptical about trying it, but I'd never heard of it before, so I kind of decided that it would be an awesome thing to try. Yeah, so I looked online, and the reviews online are actually really, really mixed, some people love it. Some people hate it, so I decided it would be a good thing to review and give you guys my opinion on. And it's also kind of a fun product as well, because I've never used anything similar to this before. So the packaging is really basic. It's actually very, very skinny. The tube is very skinny, um, and the design is kind of just quite basic, like that. Nothing extra special about it. And then the wand looks like this. So from a distance it actually looks like just a plain mascara wand until you go up close and it actually has little grooves in the stick. You can see there. So that's what actually separates your lashes. So it kind of does have a brush but it's just kind of tiny and actually in the wand which is very very unusual. Yeah so I really didn't know what to expect from this mascara because it had such mixed reviews but the first time I tried it I kind of instantly fell in love with it. It leaves you with the most perfect looking lashes in my opinion. It's kind of the perfect middle ground between volumizing and defining and yeah I just really love it. So I'm going to do a very quick product demo now. So I'm going to zoom in and show you applying the mascara on this side. Okay so I'm just going to curl my lashes I love these eyelash curlers actually as well, they're from Urban Decay and they're kind of funny looking, you have to do like that your eyelashes in two curls but they work really well and then I'm just going to apply I find that you have to tilt your head back even further when you're using this mascara than you normally do because you have to kind of push your lashes a little bit harder just to get them into those grooves but as you can see it's really just leaves a beautiful effect. I'm absolutely in love with this mascara and I know there's a lot of hype at the moment about um, Benefits They're Real which I love and I was actually using that mascara before I started using this one and I've switched from using that one which hasn't even run out yet to this one just because I love this one so much and it is a little bit tricky to get the outer corner lashes especially like the outside, but you can kind of just use the end of the stick like that and then just use that to kind of separate them a little bit and to coat the lashes and then I also go behind as well as I find that helps to really lengthen them and what this mascara doesn't do as much as other mascaras is collect at the end of the lashes because I find a lot of the time if you like really really volumized lashes like I like um, and you put a lot of mascara on sometimes you end up it kind of weighs down the ends of your lashes and it looks a bit kind of funny and clumpy but this just looks really really nice and it's amazing for the bottom lashes as well just kind of wiggle it like you would a normal mascara brush and that's the final effect so I don't know what you guys think but I think that is absolutely perfect, literally it's my perfect mascara, so I'm going to zoom back out. So as you can see it leaves a really really gorgeous look to the lashes and I'm absolutely addicted to this mascara, I've been using it every day since I got it, like I said I traded out my Benefits um, They're Real for this which is going around at the moment, everybody is loving the new Benefit mascara but personally I think this is better, it's £14 if you buy it in Bare Minerals but you can get it cheaper online, I'll have a look around and put some links in the information bar below where you guys can check it out. Um, in terms of like holding a curl, I find it holds a curl really well. I have fairly curly lashes anyway, um, but if you curl them before and then put it on, I feel like it holds the curl well. I don't know whether it's anything to do with, like I said, the pushing um, your lashes up a little bit harder. It kind of like, you curl them a bit more as you're putting the mascara on, if that even makes sense. It doesn't flake on me, it doesn't run. Um, obviously it's not waterproof, so if you're going to cry a lot or be in the rain, it might run. I haven't 
kind of experienced anything like that yet whilst I've been wearing it, so I can't really comment on that. Um, but overall, I just absolutely love it. It's really different as well. I think it's a really fun thing to try if you're looking for something a bit new. If, like me, you've tried so many different mascaras and you're looking for something a little bit new, then this is definitely something that I would recommend. I absolutely love it and I think it's awesome. So yeah, that is my review of my mascara. Um, another thing that I was going to update you guys about, if you didn't see my Carmine video earlier this week, talking about how I had dyed the ends of my hair pink, well, I went back to the salon and I got my hair even more pink and I just think it's absolutely perfect now. It's exactly how I wanted it. Um, it's just kind of like fades into pink. It's not too bright either. Um, the stylist who did it actually used two different colours, so he... Um, used kind of like a pastel strawberry pink on all of the ends and then he put a few streaks of really really bright pink which you can probably see I can't see very well in my monitor how it looks but you can yeah there's a really bright one there so you can kind of see it adds a little bit of depth to it rather than just being like a stripe of pink which I really really like it turned out exactly how I wanted so I really, really love it. He also actually used a technique where he backcombed the end of the hair and then applied the colour so that it wasn't like a straight line. It kind of fades into the colour, which I think is really cool. So I'm really happy with my pink hair. Let me know what you guys think. I'd love to know what you think. So I hope you guys all enjoyed this video. Please subscribe if you haven't already. I know I say it in every single video, but it really means the world to me. And if you want to check out some of my cool Halloween videos that I've been putting up on my vlog channel, I did a how to cook pumpkin soup video and I also did carving pumpkins and they're both with my best friend Lissy so um, it was so exciting to have her in the videos actually because she normally lives in Scotland so I hardly ever get to see her and it was really fun to have her in my videos so hope you guys are all having a great day and I'll see you soon, bye!